All right, so today we have yet another metadata challenge, and this time it's going to be between three different providers. These are going to be meal delivery kits. Well, two of them are. The third one is actually something that I'm really excited about. So the contenders for today are the HelloFresh on this side and the Home Cook or Home Chef on this side, and this one in the middle, this is an authentic authentic 1943 cookbook. This is something that's been passed down in my family for many generations. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to throw this old school recipe metadata into the mix of the more modern ones. So let's go check it out. All right, so here is our first contender. This is the very first search index. You can see I'm using gloves because it's very old. So how does this stack up to the metadata and the construction based on some of the more modern meal kits. The way that this has been structured right here, and you can see if I want to go in and find cakes and cupcakes, fillings, cookies, all these different types of food, I can go ahead and do that. Where the metadata comes in is here. So if I wanted to make shortcakes, for instance, here are the ingredients and here are the descriptions. So you can tell this is very different what we're going to see from the more modern meal kits, but I thought it was a really good comparison because this is really, really slim. Information was not really thought of as the same way. You kind of had to know a lot of information um, starting out. So this is obviously not going to work for a more modern person, but I think we can say this one's not gonna win, but I think it was a really cool thing to, to show. And let's go jump into the more modern kits. All right, so let's start with HelloFresh. First, this is more of like a Netflix style um, selection where there's very minimal kind of filtering. And let's look at some of the metadata. So we've got 35 minutes. It tells you minutes for each one. It gives you a little description. These are things that can be uh, potentially used for filters if there was a huge selection um, that they would want to offer you. Now, you will also notice there is no search bar. So I really do have to browse. There is no search uh, feature here. Um, I can see why. Again, there's not a ton of things to choose from each week for any of these meal selection kits. However, you know, if I'm looking for something um, that is fish or beef or sandwich versus bowl, I can't just search and quickly go to the thing that I'm looking for. All right, so this is telling me a uh, difficulty level. Okay, so I have kind of a bone to pick on this one. I am somebody that likes to cook. So level five, six, seven, I can do those things. But if I was somebody that didn't really know how to cook well, I would probably wanna know the difficulty level, the first screen of information, not the detailed, which I'm in now. So that I'm not a huge fan of. Um, it is telling me it's calorie smart and spicy. It does give me allergens, which is good. Uh, so it does give you the ingredients. It does give you warnings per piece of um, food that comes with this. So that's also good if you do have uh, an allergy so that you, if you do want this meal, but you can't eat milk or wheat, you can maybe disregard those pieces. It also tells you what is not included in your delivery. This is the problem that I have with this one. Um, you would think, okay, I have butter, I have pepper, I have salt, I have vegetable oil, but... It would be great if they had the amounts. I think it would be helpful to know like how much of each of these you would want because maybe you are being very frugal right now. Um, the other thing is it says full recipe coming soon. Again, I have been a member for a few months. It's never come. Usually when you have something on here like this, you know, coming soon or check back later, it's fine if it's kind of a filler, but if you really don't know when that thing is going to be available or it's a nice to have and I might get around to it, just leave it off because it's kind of a false promise. All right, so let's go over to the home chef. Um, we've got the, oh, okay. So, oh, look, this one actually has filters. Okay, so cook time, great. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, so it's got 22 meals that are 60 minutes. Okay, and then meal type. Oh, see, I like this much better. Okay, wow, that is a lot of different types. So that's interesting, right? So remember we were talking about below the fold? 
I have ordered this for two months. The HelloFresh. And I have no idea they had all those things. Because it's so far down in the page, I never actually looked that far. And you could see the simple fact that Home Chef, and I'm not favoring them because I've never tried them yet, they, they had a filter. It's very small. It doesn't, you know, it's not very cluttered, but it told me very quickly, I didn't even have to look at anything else, that this has more to it than just meals that I was looking for. Okay, so that's cool. So again, the criticism, there's no way for me to search for something specifically if I'm like, well, I only really wanna eat chicken. People like that, there's a lot of different types of food preferences. So, and, and food needs and necessities because of like celiac and other types of things. Um, so having a way to search or kind of filter by that is, is helpful. All right, so all of these are the meal kits. Again, it's giving you the serving size right away, gives you the description. Um, it does tell you when there's allergens right um, up front, which is great. So again, I'm not wasting my time. Remember in the HelloFresh, I didn't find out if there was allergens until I'd already gone into the detail page. Therefore, feeling like I wasted my time. Here, I can quickly say, oh, I can't, I can't do milk. So therefore, I don't need this one. I can just bypass it. Um, they also tell you how much time each one takes right off the bat. Again, uh, HelloFresh did the same thing. Um, and it gives you the little icons. These icons, so calorie conscious, carb conscious. Oh, I like this because that is something that HelloFresh did not offer up. I think that that is helpful. A lot of people are watching how many carbohydrates they are eating. Let's just select one of these. And, um, Oh, okay, they even have like handles in here so you could print it off. I like that a lot. Again, something that the HelloFresh didn't offer. Um, so this is just the overview. It tells you, oh wow. Okay, so whoa, the metadata. There's so much here. Okay, so you can customize it with all of these different types of meat. It tells you what the um, like categories are. Keep that in mind because we're going to talk about that next time in a video. Uh, it does give you the difficulty farther in, which again, I'm not a fan of. The spice is also something that HelloFresh did tell you right off the bat if it was spicy. This one does not, which again, some people are very, very sensitive to spice. So I'm kind of surprised it's kind of like buried in to the metadata here. Uh, oh, it even tells you how long you have to you know, you can wait to cook it. Again, this is great for meal planning and it tells you all of the nutritional facts. Love it. So nice. Oh, wow. I'm kind of regretting that I started with HelloFresh. Um, oh, and they even tell you about the guy who developed the uh, recipe, which is pretty cool. It gives you all the, the ingredients and it gives you the exact amount. Again, this is really good for planning because HelloFresh didn't tell us that. Remember, it just gave you an image of what you were getting. So here you actually get to understand the portion size. How much are you actually getting? Now in HelloFresh, it did go through and it point blank told you when there was an allergen. I don't necessarily like that in Home Chef, they kind of bury it under these, these little tool tips. Um, that I don't like because allergens are so um, dangerous if, if you are like highly allergic to something. So having it point blank right in your face like HelloFresh did, I think is the better way to go. So for this, I give this to HelloFresh, not so much Home Chef. All right, and it even tells you the exact kind of things like Roma tomatoes instead of just tomatoes. Um, I, I really do like that. So let's look at the recipe itself. Okay, cool. So it does tell you what you will need. Again, you know, it's it's very small. I think it's fine that neither of them do this, but it would be great if, oh, it does say olive oil. That's nice. I know with HelloFresh, it just tells, tells you oil. There's thousands of different types of oil. Um, all right, so it gives you this, gives you, oh, wow. It gives you all the directions. Oh, and it, okay, so it gives you the card. This is interesting that it actually gives you the recipe card. You notice in HelloFresh, it said that this was, that was coming soon, but it wasn't actually there. Both of them highlight in bold the actual ingredients. 
uh, which is good if somebody's just scanning through and they need to quickly figure out where, where they are in the step. These are all controlled fields, which is good. These tooltips are also probably controlled fields. So that would allow you um, if you are doing the man management of these ingredients, you would need to know if 12 people decided to select this meal for this week, how many ounces of boneless pork chops will you need to have on hand to fulfill those orders? So again, having controlled data is really going to help you with that. Okay, so let's recap. So it looks like HelloFresh, little tool tips on the cards before you got into the details, but there's not a whole lot to it. It doesn't give you a lot of information. It also doesn't give you any kind of filters. I would say that those are two marks against it. It also does not have any search. I would say that's yet another point against them. Now, the one thing I do like here with these tooltips is it does tell you when it's spicy, whereas Home Chef does not tell you that. Neither of them tell you how difficult the meals are beforehand. I don't really like that. So I would say that that's a point against both of them. The other thing is, as you're going through these, it doesn't tell you before you get into the details if there are any allergens. So I would say that's probably um, a point against both of them. Now with HelloFresh, let's go back into the detail. It does tell you right up front all of the pertinent information, and it gives you all of the information that you're going to need for ingredients, and it point blank, right in front, tells you the allergen. So I would say that's a point for them, not against them. But one thing against them is they have been saying full recipe coming soon, and it hasn't for a while, whereas Home Chef already gives that to you. So that is all you get. That's all the metadata that you get with HelloFresh. Now, if we are back in Home Chef world, they have a lot more metadata. So you go in, you can customize things. Uh, you have all of the nutrition here. You even know the person who created the recipe. So if you really wanted to, you could go and look them up and see you know, what they've cooked in the past if you're you know, really interested in that. Um, they do have, uh, the cook within date. That's also another control field. That's really important because what that tells me is they're keeping track of when their ingredients are delivered to them so that they can pass it on to the, the consumer. How much time do you have? So I really like this cook within time frame. That's really great. It also gives you all the nutrition so they can really, it sounds like really pinpoint exactly what's going into all of their food, which gives me a little bit of trust factor, right? So um, trust is something that don't underestimate. If somebody trusts you over the other person and they have better metadata, you will still win. Okay, so again, the, the recipe, um, is already there so I can really understand what I'm getting. Um, it does look like what you will need is controlled data. Um, I would suspect because there's a lot of formatting in here that this is all controlled within the actual text itself. So it has at least tags. Well, while, while it's not metadata fields, they, they could be extracted with machine learning or something else, um, or maybe machine learning is inserting them. Um, I don't know, it could be either of them, but it does seem like this is giving you more detail in the description here, uh, which I would say this is like the, the full text, if you will, um, but it does have a lot of structure to it. So I would say that that means that they are um, doing something smart with it and they can mine um, information from it if they chose. So overall, I think that my estimation on these two and their metadata, not really putting the 1943, <laughs> 42 uh, cookbook in the mix here. I do think that the metadata for Home, Home Chef really does win. Um, and in the 1940s, they didn't have metadata. <laughs> and they really didn't have a lot of information in there either. 
Uh, so even if you did want to digitize something like that, um, getting the information out of it would be very difficult to do. All right, so I hope that you got some really cool metadata insights out of that. Um, I would actually say that for Home Chef had better options as their metadata. The one from HelloFresh seemed to be a little skimpy on the metadata and the options. All right, and with that, I hope you enjoyed this and stay tuned for the next episode where we are going to be going over how to create your very first e-commerce taxonomy. Check it out next time.